you are looking at the Ontario Cutlass Machete. And this is the 12 inch version, 12 inches in the blade that is. This is a product that is made in the USA, right? And uh, I like purchasing when I can products that are made by Americans for Americans in our great nation. So when I can pick a tool up like this, and it is a high value tool at a very reasonable price, and I think that this, this machete proves that Americans can make products that can compete with other products coming from foreign countries. And this is a perfect example. This is a better machete than I think any of the machetes that you would find at your local hardware store or Walmart or something like this. This is a better tool at, an, at a great price of $20. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less than that. So check it out. Check out the prices online. I really view this as a large camp knife. One of the things I like about the Ontario cutlasses is that they are machetes, is that they have a very thick blade. The blade is 0 0.125 inches thick. That is thick for, for most of the machetes that I've encountered outside the US, okay? And for most of the machetes that you'd buy at a local hardware store or something like this. This is a thicker blade machete. My friend had the, the longer, uh, bladed version of this and I was impressed with how thick the blade is but because this is the 12 inch version it is a very very thick rigid blade thick I mean rigid it's, it doesn't have a lot of flex in it and I like that now there may be applications where if you're in a jungle environment where you want a machete that's a little more flexible but because I spend uh, most of my time in forests that are not of a, a jungle or a, a rainforest kind of nature. There aren't a lot of vines. I'm cutting a lot of hardwood and a lot of saplings down. The more rigid blade is, is valuable and useful to me. Okay. Overall, this is a 17 and a half inches overall length. Okay. And it has a 12 inch blade right here. It's made out of 1095 carbon steel, and I assume that they have hardened that appropriately and that it will hold a very nice edge. Uh, I, I think this is a really high quality product that's made in the USA, and I'm glad that I'm going to be doing a chop test and a full review on it here in the next month or so. Uh, as, I, as I end this video on my initial impressions, there are two things that you need to take into consideration if you're planning on buying this machete for yourself. And those are one, that this machete does not come with a sheath. So factor that into your price. You're going to either have to make one or purchase a aftermarket sheath for this. Okay. So, so consider that. And the blade did not come particularly sharp. Okay. We have this uh, relief edge along here. And you can see there's a little bit of maybe rust going on there. And that the blade is not sharp. Okay. This is just not sharp. And so I, I assume that that is the way this knife was going to come anyway. So I'm not unhappy. You know, you pay $20, $30 for this thing. Within that price range, you're getting a bargain for a quality tool. Okay, a large, thick camp knife. I've paid a lot of money over the years for big knives. Things like the Artac 2, uh, the Gurkha Kukri from Cold Steel. Those are great knives. I'm not knocking them. But for $20 or $30, this will do a lot of the same things that those knives will do. And it's a better cost-effective option. So, you're going to need to buy a sheath and you're going to need to sharpen this thing up somehow. And so, uh, in my, my review and chop test of this knife, I'll show you the sheath. I may either make a leather sheath or I may purchase a Rothko polymer sheath that's really for the longer machetes that Ontario makes. I'll cut that. If I get the, uh, if I get the uh, Rothko sheath, I'll cut it down and I'll modify it and I'll include that in my review of this, this tool. But if you're looking for a, a machete that's really high quality, that's in this smaller range, uh, smaller size range, I think you can't go wrong with the Ontario machete here, at least as I have uh, worked on it a little bit this, this afternoon and, and played with it. I don't think you can go wrong. Everything that I, I thought about this machete seems to be coming true. I think it's a great American-made product. 1095 carbon steel, got 12 inches of cutting, uh, cutting edge, and uh, it's a thick, good quality camp knife. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. If you liked this video, if you're looking forward to potentially seeing how I modify the sheath or what sheath I end up using on this and some of the chop tests that I'll be doing I would on this knife, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel. This is the Gear Tester signing off. 
you are looking at the Ontario Cutlass Machete. And this is the 12 inch version, 12 inches in the blade that is. This is a product that is made in the USA, right? And uh, I like purchasing when I can products that are made by Americans for Americans in our great nation. So when I can pick a tool up like this and it is a